Hey guys, welcome to our channel MCAT Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to design a turbo fan engine in Siemens Unigraphics NX software. If you are new on the channel, please click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell to receive all the notification for our future videos. We will be starting this tutorial with the design of a propeller or blades of this turbo fan engine. I hope you guys find it interesting. So let's start this. Go to file, select new and rename the model and the destination in which you want to save the part file. Click OK. So I am going to rename it as turbojet part 1. Click OK. Select sketch and XY plane. Click OK. Now from the curve toolbar, select line and draw the geometry. Like this. You can just draw the geometry and we will be defining the dimensions later on using the rapid dimension tool. So select rapid dimension, select this point and the origin or horizontal 35.5 mm. Length of this line is as 113.5 mm. Now select the point and origin. The distance is 97 mm. Select this shorter line and the horizontal distance between them is 30 mm and this 29 mm. Now select geometric constraints point on curve and select this point and y axis to make a vertical constraint. So if you guys are using NX10 or previous versions, you won't have a vertical or horizontal constraint in the geometry constraints toolbar. It is only provided in the NX11 and NX12. So I, I use point on curve tool rather than vertical and horizontal to mark the uh, points as horizontal or vertical using the point on curve. Okay. So now select a spline and mark this spline between these points now select rapid dimension and mark the vertical dimension as 183.3 mm and the horizontal distance between origin and this point is 128.1 mm now 128.1 okay close now we are going to define another relation on this between this point and origin geometric constraints click finish and okay, now revolve this feature in the x y axis select y axis and 360 degree void type is solid so here you have got a very nice geometry of the hub of this propeller now we are going to define the profile of the blades select x y plane create sketch now hide this revolve create the sketch hide the sketch also now select studio spline and mark three arbitrary points just mark them wherever you want we are going to define the dimension later on now go to rapid dimensions and mark the vertical dimension of this first control point second control point no need to define the third control point so the dimensions of the height of the second control point is 30 mm and 40 mm for the first one the horizontal distance between the first control point and the origin is 200 mm and the last control point is 40 mm length between these points is 120 mm now go to the geometric constraints again and make a constraint with the third control point and the origin of the Now we have got a fully, uh, fully defined con uh, sketch here. Go to the studio spline again and mark three arbitrary points below this spline. Okay. Now define the dimensions, the 
second control point and node region. The vertical distance is 10 mm. The third control point also 10 mm below the axis. So now define the horizontal distance between the second control point and the origin as 80 mm. Select the method as horizontal in the dimension to so move a little bit. Okay. So now define the third control point as 40. Okay, now the sketch is fully constrained. We are going to close this loop with another spline. But this time use five control points instead of three. This geometry. Now we are going to define the dimensions between the second, third, and fourth control points only. And select first and last one because we are going to the the previous lines. So the distance between this point and origin again. The last point is 37. Okay. So now mark the vertical distances. Select vertical in the method. Okay. Select this point, origin. 2.7. This one is 7.8 mm. The last one has. 10.5 So now just drag these points on one side with the ending points of the other spines. Okay. Now this, you can see CSV is fully defined. Just finish and choose another data, data plane offset with 650 mm from the previous plane. Select sketch. hide this sketch or you can keep as you want hide. Okay. so we are going to define another profile for this plates go to studio spline again and mark five control points in a wave like manner okay so click ok now go to the rapid dimension and mark dimensions again. These dimensions are again in the reference with the coordinate axis only. So the distance for the horizontal distance is 159.8, 48.8, 48 and 98.8 and 211. Let's just straighten this out. Drag the points, close this, okay. select the point and drag it, drag it further. So now there is not a loop between the splines. Okay. Now we are going to nice cut. Okay, we are going to define the constraint, this point and vertical axis. Go to rapid dimension and select the vertical method. We're going to define the vertical dimensions of these control points. This one is 101.1. Uh, this one is 235.3. Third control point has a height of 19.4 m. This one has 59. And the last one has 115. Now we need to define another spline below this spline. So 
this time we are going to define with the help of six control points rather than The rapid dimensions. Mark the height. This one has some vertical height of 21.4 mm. 28.6, The last one is 128.5. horizontal method this one is 93.6 54.7 and 9 86.9 156.4 okay close now just drag this point to the first point of the spine and again okay, define the vertical constraint on this point so for the sake of keeping the timeline close uh, we have just fast forward this video so if you find any of the dimensions missing up you can just pause the video right here to see all the dimensions so now we are going to close this loop and again we are using the slowest line mark four control points click ok define the second and fourth third control points dimensions so this one has a horizontal distance of mark this first ok it's 164.7 mm and this one is 163.3 mm the vertical distance of the third control point to the origin is 126.3 mm and second control point is left this one is 190.6 okay so again just drag and drop these points Incident. The sketch is fully constrained now. Okay, finish. Let's show. Make all the sketches show, which are hidden. Now we are going to extrude this geometry with the help of through curves. Go to surface, select through curves, and select the curve, first curve, and add new set. Select the second curve. The continuity is G0 points. There is no any uh, tangential constraint. Select body type as solid. So as you can see, we have got a very nice geometry of the plate of a propeller. Now we are going to just unite this the hub. Select unite and give a fillet on this edge as 10 mm. Okay. Now we are going to pattern this geometry across this hub. So pattern feature, select this feature. Circular, select the vector and specify the point. So we are going to create 24 copies of this geometry in a span of 360 degrees. Click OK. So we have got a very nice geometry as you can see of a propeller. Now we are going to just unite all these blades. All these plates. Okay. This is going to take some time, so let's just leave it. Okay, it's done. Now we need to cut a profile on these propellers. So again, okay, select sketch x y axis x y plane. Now go to profile, so, uh, draw a geometry. Okay. So give a constraint on this point, the horizontal axis. We are going to project the uh, curvature of this hub onto this sketch using the project curve. So select just project curve, 
take this uh, oh it will project this curve on the sketch you are doing so draw a line and distance is yes, 29.9 mm click a vertical line make a vertical line from this point with the length of 198 198.3 mm at an angle of 90 degrees so okay let's click okay go to studio spline and make a spline with four control points you need to define the dimension using the rapid dimension and select rapid dimension the vertical distance between this point and this point is 707.6 457.8 and 261.3 so again all the dimensions are in the respect of uh, coordinate system only the uh, horizontal distance between this point is uh, 25.6 this point also has a dimension of 25.6 mm so it is minus 25.6 on the side of the axis and this one is 223.4 m okay so just drag and drop this point vertical line okay so now draw a vertic uh, horizontal line from the end of this line okay rapid dimension the horizontal distance between end point and origin Twenty-nine point nine. Draw another spline. Just three control points. Okay. Now define the dimensions of the center control point and the origin. This one is one twenty-two point nine. And vertical dimension as two ninety point seven. Now define the horizontal horizontal distance. This third control point. That's important. And this one has a distance of 200 point one m. Okay. Okay. Finish. Now we are using this sketch to cut through the propellers. Select revolve. Sketch this. Uh, select the sketch. And in the Boolean features, select sprat and select the body as. Select the axis, the central axis, using this. So here you have got a very nice geometry, the propeller of the turbofan engine. So do you guys know a basic difference between a turbofan and turbojet engine? Turbofan engines are turbojets that include a ducted fan at the front of the engine, allowing better efficiency and performance compared to the pure turbojets. Turbofans are usually the ones which you see in the aviation sector also because they have benefited from the decades of technology improvement to become extremely safe and reliable. The fuel consumption of both the engines are almost the same but with the added benefit of the thrust provided by the by a large propeller in front of the turbofan engine. So that's why they are more efficient than their counterparts as turbojets. So here we have used the edit object display feature to color our propeller okay it looks nice uh, one thing uh, just edit the center part of this hub by using sketch and make a circle on this part select extrude subtract select this body um, extrude this geometry 100 mm inside the hub Okay, so now it's complete. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in the next video.